if not we do have the spices following you around we do have the moon and the page of swords in reverse so somebody might be stalking you actually not talking to you and with the moon in reverse actually is the energy of breaking the silence um it can be about secrets coming out you finding out that somebody is actually interested in you stalking you and with the five of wands in reverse actually we might uh, put some conflict to bed let's see what this is all about five of wands normally is in is internal struggle it's a little bit of competition but this is a love reading so it's more about the uh, the mind and the heart and the moon again with the full moon new beginning sleep of faith starting over that kind of energy the moon and the nine of swords sleepless nights and wrinkles somebody gives us headaches and wrinkles and gray hair just saying nine of swords and the king of cups Pisces, cancer scorpio might be a water sign actually after all Pisces is a water sign so but we will see so let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy the most important one and we do have the nine of pentacles in reverse i love this this is about commitment two of cups this connection might be either long distance either a little bit disconnected and ace of wands a new beginning delayed but i'm sensing we are quite stuck right with the chariot can be a cancer and then you show up here definitely a water sign on your mind gemini for some of you but right now you know we are the energy around this connection we have a bit of stagnation here we have the two of cups in reverse we don't know if we love each other it can be also again like i was saying i'm sensing long distance i don't know why we'll see if this is uh, uh if this is a long distance but it was my first um instinct on it and delayed because you know who can travel at this time nobody can travel maybe you feel like traveling and going um and making this offer because ace of wands absolutely that is a new beginning and because it's in reverse might be a little bit delayed might be a little bit out of um, reach for this time but let's see gemini once we see the big picture we have a pretty good idea of what's going on so past energies for you the person you are dealing with and mutual energies let's have the um the current energies on your side the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome the possible outcome on your side the person you are dealing with okay we do have the page of cups wanted to come out i'm going to take it might be an offer of apologies of some sort and breaking the silence high priestess in reverse somebody feels like talking page of wands in reverse they've been silent they've been struggling you might have had a family with this uh, person ten of pentacles and definitely somebody walked away after breaking your heart three of swords three of swords six of swords they walked away you know from a family a commitment a relationship might have been a fight of some sort and they needed peace of mind afterwards or maybe you we'll see so um gemini in the past we do have the magician in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse you know how it feels um this is the energy of they got under your skin you know because seven of wands is the energy of um you standing your ground and um you know following your um whatever value system you you follow your own um and this is the perfect um, um actually by excellence the energy of um kind of taking um uh, bit by bit your self-confidence this connection because you do have the magician in reverse you might have been maybe manipulated maybe lied to you know the magician in reverse is this energy of tricks this energy of being dishonest um lacking confidence for some of you so that's why with the seven of wands is like you know you are standing your standing your ground you are confident and at some point um you know respecting yourself and respecting this uh this connection this is seven of wands is all about healthy boundaries and now we have all this energy in reverse combined with manipulation so they kind of got you on your knees in some way 
and probably doubting yourself um you know um and not knowing what to think that's exactly the energy right hey guess what they have the magician in reverse too and the eight of pentacles it's kind of like you both got tricked in some way <laughs> um i don't know in what in what way and i hope we're gonna see what other energy is but i i don't remember which um reading i did and it felt like um you know that dynamic where it became toxic and people you know because we have people really bringing to the surface the best in us and then we have people really triggering our um, shadow side right then we get angry um more easy and maybe we fall into dynamics of manipulation like this one because it's obvious that somebody was doing kind of active manipulation and while the other person kind of lost their confidence and and it really it's the energy of um, getting under your skin kind of um so let's see what was the manipulation about because honestly in terms of um dedicated effort with the eight of pentacles you know this person made you know they did their um um their best now when eight of pentacles is combined um gemini with um the energy of manipulation maybe somebody kind of lied to you about money manipulated you about money asked for money never never um gave it back or can be any kind of financial issue here and somebody in the past kind of tricked you out of um you know finances or whatever benefits whatever work whatever pentacles might have been your yours right <clears throat> oh my god and the, the universe is so clear today guys gemini what's going on baby and the mutual energies between you and this person we do have the tower and the hierophant absolutely the energy of a marriage that went boom an explosion of some sort and whatever we felt it was traditional and it felt good and it had values values in it that we agreed upon and terms we agreed upon right it went down in flame um and it's interesting it's like both you're doing in some way right with the magician in reverse on your side their side it's like we got into that kind of dynamic and and then the evidence would, was there and then the boom was followed um shortly after the, after that right this is how it feels we had while shuffling like secrets coming out with the high priestess so maybe you know that is something that um kind of exploded your whole world now gemini where are we right now the energy around you we do have the fall in reverse so let's not be a fool in the situation we might have you um kind of resisting this new beginning we do have the fool here right so um it is in reverse i want to say <clears throat> so let's make sure we are not making any rush decisions we also have the page of swords in reverse maybe you it's kind of difficult for you to start a new beginning because we are still attached and 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 stalking this person and trying to see what they are doing um maybe their energy is still all over your energy so it's kind of difficult to disconnect and we want this person right and um and that is a whole new world right uh, beside you but i'm not sure or behind you however you want to see it uh, and i'm not sure you are seeing it i'm not sure you are paying attention over here for some of you of course we discussed a little bit the swords in reverse uh, when they are in reverse for me they are very painful uh, and they scratch and they hurt so can be about communications with this person right now and we might maybe for some of you say something that we because we are hurt right sometimes we reply in a way and and we create a dynamic and we block energies uh, through um an impulsive communication rushed you know um i don't want to say careless i don't feel this is careless but you know my you get my point right so um we want to kind of pay attention to this and make sure we stay high vibration that's the whole purpose of letting go and releasing um whatever happened now gemini this person of yours of course can be a pisces cancer scorpio we do have the queen of cups in reverse and the page of pentacles but i feel they are quite emotionally drained to make an offer right now you might have one page of pentacles is a desire to communicate 
is it a potential to um you know to start new to have something but then the queen of cups is in reverse right so their cup is a, a little bit empty they might be emotionally drained they may not be in control of their emotions and interestingly enough it has this on their side these pentacles eight of pentacles nine of pentacles so there is something about money that um kind of gets them off the hook in, in some way or emotionally drained or um i don't know all over the place kind of energy might be extremely insecure somebody might be extremely sad about either financial loss of some sort an explosion of their finances in some way the fact that they had they have to start over page of pentacles also beginning of a new cycle it's not ace of pentacles but still right it's like rebuilding slowly something so for some of you this is um <clears throat> and interesting enough gemini I might be picking up the energy of a Gemini who is still married to this person. We have right in the middle of the reading the um, the spread. We do have the Hierophant Taurus energy. For some of you, a Taurus can be between you and this person. And they are persistently there and kind of um, keeping you apart from each other. But you might still be married actually to this person. And we have the Page of Wands energy in reverse. This is, of course, poor communication, poor passion. Uh, we no longer believe in this we no longer have the spark um we might have engaged again in um, games of manipulation and harsh communication or manipulative communication um swords in reverse can also be about lies um so i don't know whose energy i'm picking up here um, but it looks like if this is about a separation the marriage is not yet um, over but still we are in that dynamic and it's following an explosion of some sort in regards to, like I was saying, in regards to money, to commitment, the way we um, communicate with each other, what happened to our love or the way we express love, the way we express passion. Ace of Wands, Page of Wands is in, is in reverse, so both energies of, you know, no longer making love, no longer having that physical bond and... And Two of Cups is the energy of body, mind, and soul kind of bond, but but then, you know, we got into things. Somehow. Somehow. So that is that. And let's see, moving forward. Um, Gemini, we do have the Page of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Again, Page of Swords. Um, honestly, it's a very... Um, Page of Swords is uh, the genius card, so it's about ideas, it's about bright new ideas for you. This is about clarity and we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so if this is about money or family, we'll see on their side there is something about um, money. Uh, Ten of Pentacles for you can be about family. There is a sense of clarity coming your way, right? You finally have a plan, you finally know. For some of you already kind of in your mind knowing what the plan is that's again the genius idea so probably what you are working on right now might be very smart and um the solution for whatever family went into um into a boom with um with this for some of you this is about money and again page of swords is about communication about money Ten of Pentacles in reverse is about losing money. It's about the lump sum of money that went uh, out the window. So if this is about the separation or, or whatever, let's be wise about money and let's, you know, be very clear about um, the financial side of whatever separation needs to happen here. Now, the person you are dealing with, um, Gemini, they have the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Hangman. Um... One is the energy of deceit and the other one is the energy of I don't have to change my perspective. I know exactly what this is. Um, so I'm, I'm not seeing them um, giving a lot of thought, I would say, you know. We do love though the um, Seven of Swords in reverse is the energy of being smart or getting smarter about something. But still, with the hangman, we know it's all about illumination, walking a mile in your shoes, trying to understand your perspective getting awakened in some way in reverse it's no i don't have to do anything so um 
yeah, kind of um, deceiving energy, I would say. Now, mutual energies between you and this person, while well, both thinking about the past, and we have the two of wands in reverse, um, quite difficult to move on, right? Two of wands is choosing a path, going in a different direction. Expansion and vision, it's about, okay, you know, I, I, I lead the situation towards multiplication. That's a three in numerology, right? We go from two to three. Waiting for ships to come home, investments, developments, and that kind of energy doesn't happen for now because we are still stuck in the past. Actually, both of you, quite stuck in the past. They might give you apologies though. We do have, remember this card, this little one, the page of cups, um, I mean, he flipped. So somebody might wanna apologize for what happened. And by the way, we have page of swords, page of, we have page of swords uh, twice, page of wands, page of pentacles and page of cups. So we have all the pages possible. For some of you might be kids involved and stuff like this. Um, <clears throat> But I would say this um, situation is not yet uh, fully developed, right? We are in our initial stages. We still owe apologies to somebody, to the other person, either you or the other person, either both. Um, and I would say a little bit stuck, right? That's a chariot in reverse cancer energy. We are still, both of you, stuck in the past. And... Um, <clears throat> Unable to let go, actually. Nine of Pentacles in reverse is the energy of wanting commitment, not wanting to be single. By the looks of it, I'm, <clears throat> I'm actually picking up, like I was saying, the energy of somebody probably still being in a marriage, still wanting commitment, um, but being afraid to be by themselves or not wanting actually to start over something or... Um, you know, maybe we don't find another partner or God knows why people um, stay in commitment, in a commitment, in a loveless commitment, actually. So, um, I'm just saying, we do have the two of cups, so that was love. We do have the six of cups. That's a soulmate bond. That is something that was, you know, was, was meant to be and the universe put this in your way, on your path. Um... And um, we know soulmates, well, relationships can go left or right, but the soulmate bond always remains. So um, so I'm just um, saying that there was love and disconnection and, um, and emotions and investment, and there was passion with the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands, but then something changed, right? So, uh, Gemini, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we... Uh, need to unblock in terms of energies so we do have empathy you feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love we need to uh, come from a place of understanding and love and empathy towards this person they might be going through something that's quite difficult and we always have to hire our, our vibration and because these are activation cards, it's kind of the universe guiding us, um, Gemini, in order to get the energies flowing and the energy of empathy we need kind of to unblock, to unblock it in this connection. We do have commitment. You dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. So you need to be committed, right? You need to have empathy and you need to be committed to unconditional love or get the unconditional love flowing, right? No matter what, we love them. We come from a place of love. Ownership. You acknowledge just your misdates and accomplishments alike and learn to love them all as lessons. So um, we need to kind of, uh, right, ownership, take ownership of whatever we've done um, unintentionally, right? We all make mistakes, no shame and no judgment there. So as long as we recognize, okay, this is mine. I did it. I'm sorry, you know. And um, let's have another one. And we do have unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. And we have regret, so maybe somebody feels regretful for this uh, unity, marriage, whatever, 
and the universe is saying I know that I cannot change the past I regret and unity this is I feel it's more I know that I cannot change the past so no regrets there let's have two guardian angels and then we say goodbye um, till the next time Gemini we have the magician again but this time is um, is in in the guidance so manifest your dreams you're ready to go there is no need for additional preparation take the first steps towards the changes you desire even if they're small steps notice signs that guide you in the right direction as well as resources and support that miraculously appear and Gemini you do have the fair decisions this is number eight for the strength card but act actually it's justice it's the old tarot so um when uh, when uh, the strength card was uh, replaced by the uh, worm actually switched okay so fair decisions that is the message for you and it says your angels are aware that you have concerns but be assured that there is nothing to worry about Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. So Libra might be significant, but I'm, I'm honestly sensing that this is you to start over. Actually, you are guided to start over and leave the past in the past with manifest your dreams and move on and the other one is yeah do it by, but do it with fairness and justice and balance and um hey and forgiveness right so gemini this is all that i have for you guys as always please let me know what you think please stay safe and strong and come see me next time love you take care bye